Hi guys, my name's Matt Winton. We're simply pouring all of the water all at once. Cheers. Hi guys, I'm Matt Winton, 2021 World Brewers Cup champion. And I'm really excited to be here today brewing a special Hario device. This one was a collaboration with my good friend, Pete Licata. He's designed something really special called the W60. And this takes Hario's traditional brewing in a whole new direction. We've got a very special filter here on top. It's mesh with a flat bottom and reusable. This is a drip brewer, but it can be used in three different ways. We can have with the mesh filter only, the mesh and paper filter, or just the paper filter alone. And you're gonna get three different taste results. But for me, my personal favorite is to brew with the mesh filter alone and a bit of a tighter ratio, which gives us a really nice full bodied cup. So today we're going to be doing the five pours of 50 grams each, up to a total of 250. We're going to be doing the similar technique of pouring once the water drains through. This is gonna give us a really tasty brew with a W60 mesh filter. For more information on that five pour technique, you can check out the other video, which will explain everything. So we've ground our coffee a little bit finer than we normally would for that five pour technique. It's around nine clicks on the Hario hand grinder. The reason for this is that this dripper will flow through a little bit faster. And we wanna extract a little bit more in the short time that we have to brew. I'm adding 20 grams. I'm going to level out that bed and I'm going to grab my water, which today, again, I'm sitting at around 93 degrees. Or if you don't have a temperature controlled kettle, you can bring it to the boil and then let it cool for 30 seconds or a minute to get that temperature down just a bit before you start brewing. We're going to start our timer and do five pours of 50 grams each. We're going to be doing the similar technique of pouring once the water drains through. We're still trying to get all of the coffee wet all in one go. So when we have this mesh brew only, we're going to get quite a different taste from our normal V60. The character of the coffee will be much more strong. It has a bigger body. And because we're also using this tighter ratio, we're going to get more intensity of flavor. It's gonna feel like a more full cup when you drink it. That's the reason why I like to do this shorter ratio with the mesh only, so that you can have a stronger brew and something that's going to be more intense, which maybe you'd like to add milk to, for example. It's gonna be a coffee that's gonna give you more of these heavier qualities. So this V60 insulated server is going to retain the heat of our brew, meaning that it's gonna stay hotter for longer and we can enjoy that throughout the day. And we have our final pour here up to a total of 250. I was amazed with this brew to find that even though it was a mesh filter, there's still not many fines in your brew. It's a full cup, but it's not really dirty. So the really cool thing about the V60 insulated server we have different flow restrictors that we can swap in and out to give you a faster or slower flow while you're pouring from it. It's so simple to use and the flow is really nice to control. Now for this brew, I like a little bit of plant-based milk in my coffee sometimes. So I'm just gonna add a splash to it now and it's going to be okay because we have a stronger ratio and this mesh is gonna give us a full body cup. This is the kind of brew that I like to drink when I don't need to think about the coffee. It's just something enjoyable that's lower in acidity, a bit more round, a bit heavier and richer. Mm, super tasty. Thank you so much for watching this video of the W60 and how versatile a brew it can be. I'm Matt Winton, 2021 World Brewers Cup Champion, and I'd love for you to go and check out some of the other videos that we've done to show you my recipes of several of Hario's great brewers. Happy brewing. 